The Zodiac Killer is known to have killed five people, although the real number of victims could be in the dozens. No one was ever arrested, but Gary Francis Post has long been suspected of being the serial killer who vexed law enforcement with his cryptic letters and signs. This case has been profiled in movies and miniseries and captured the attention of those fascinated by crime, including a group of volunteers called the Case Breakers. Case Breakers are an eclectic group of investigators and journalists and military personnel who seek to solve crimes. Did the FBI have a chance to catch the Zodiac Killer before he died? Joining us now is Eric Kleinsmith, who is with the Case Breakers. Thank you for joining us. For, for those perhaps not familiar with the Zodiac Killer, tell us what he did and during what time period. Sure. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Trey. Uh, Zodiac Killer was alleged to have killed five people through four different attacks from 1968 to 1969, and he's really been seen as kind of the the holy grail of cold cases, pro probably th through his name and his taunting of police and investigators over the over the next you know several years. But it has consumed uh, amateurs and professional sleuths alike for over you know now we're up to over 50 years. All right, and what new evidence, what, well, don't let me presume new evidence. Has new evidence sure. been found? And look, I wasn't around back then, but my guess is murder is a violation of state law. The FBI right. would only get involved if asked, but, but, but right. did law enforcement have a chance? to do something and did not do so, whether it be state or federal law enforcement? Yes, yes and no, and that's really been the frustration of, of the team that we have put together, and we've been working this for several years. The case was brought to us uh, from a previous case we've been working for on the D.B. Cooper case. But the, um, the, the what you have is a, is a, you know, you have several different local law enforcement entities that are not really communicating with us, and as well as not communicating uh, to to each other. So you have San Francisco, you have the potential for Riverside Police, you have Vallejo County, Napa Valley, um, and then we've alleged that there's a, a you know other victims to include Sherry uh, Sherry Joe Bates and Donna Lass, who we think was murdered up in the Lake Tahoe area. Do you think, using probable cause as the standard, do you think that there mm -hmm. was enough evidence to arrest Post, and then I'll get you to say whether or not you think he would have been yeah. convicted beyond a reasonable doubt? I there, there is, there is, there was substantial evidence, but again, it took us years to put together. Fifty years after the act, and he, and our guy, uh, Gary Francis Post, he passed away in 2018. Uh, now, now he was uh, arrested uh, in 2016 for uh, uh, abuse of his spouse, where they, they should have taken his DNA and put that into CODIS. That never happened, so there was a mistake uh, on, on procedure from that area. Uh, could he have been convicted? It, it would have taken a lot more, and we, and we're down to the point where. It probably would have taken DNA, and for a case that this old, we're really now talking more about a historical case than an actual live case that can be brought to trial. Any explanation for why his DNA would not have been entered into CODIS? I, 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 I think it was just. I really can't answer that. I think it was just a mistake on the local part, and you know that. You know, from that point on, it's just been difficult. Now we've received, uh, we've been able to recover his DNA through uh, neighbors that have volunteered and family members who have volunteered some materials that we were able to pull, and then we verified that with a blood relative. And we also have uh, former uh, military intelligence, uh, counterintelligence uh, uh, expert uh, like myself who has had contact with members within the bureau that said that since 2016, Gary Francis Post was their suspect. You know, Eric, it's amazing what y'all are able to do. I mean, law enforcement has access to tools that I, I assume as private citizens you do not have access to. So it, the fact that you're willing to do this and, and, and try to bring some, some I don't want to say closure, but bring some peace right. to, to the victims and their, and, their, and their family members, kudos right. to you. Eric Smith. Well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.